Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a Melted Moose Order Haul First Impressions. Now, I do want to say, I'm just putting the disclaimer out of there first. I did not purchase this wax. This was given to me by a friend. It was not given to me by the company. One of my friends purchased this wax for me. And I also want to say, just because I get wax sent to me for free, whether it be from the company, whether it be from a friend, I am 100% honest with how I feel because I feel like there's not enough honesty in YouTube and I'm an honest person. I want to review honestly because you guys are spending money on it. I spend money on it. Even if I didn't spend money on it, why would I review it not honestly? And I mean, you know everything can't be blow you out of the house, super strong, powerhouse, but if you get it for free, it is. No. I don't mess with that. I don't play that role. So, anyway, a little backstory. My friend sent me a random act of kindness box a couple weeks ago. And in there was a scent shot from the Melted Moose. First, the name, the Melted Moose. I'm obsessed. I think the name is so cute. I love the way their packaging is. The wax is like a super soft wax, so it melts easy. And one of the scents was called Out to Dry. I have no means a laundry expert or a huge laundry scent lover, but that scent smells exactly, exactly like you're in the summer, you step out of the house, and you smell the vent pushing out that scent when you're doing laundry. You get it all. You capture like that linty smell. You capture the laundry, the warm summer breeze, the warm summer air. It is heavenly. I cannot explain to you how much I loved it. Melted Moose Facebook, joined the group. First thing I did was ask about my out to dry. And the oil was discontinued. Devastated. Devastated is what I am. Devastated. If you can name that person, my favorite my favorite TV show, my favorite character, leave that below. I was devastated. Or stunned. I was stunned. It's my golden girls. Anyway. So, join the Facebook group. A couple weeks later, I see she has a fall pre-order. And I'm like... Talking to my friend, and again, she wishes to be anonymous. She's not a YouTuber. She's just a friend in life. And she was like, I want to order from the Melted Moose. I'm like, so do I, but I have all these other pre-orders, and I have all these other things I need to buy this week, so I'll get the Melted Moose next time. She's like, okay. Get a message from her. Hey, buddy, just want to let you know I ordered you one of everything. You're welcome. End of story. She ordered me one of everything. Oh my god. So, just came today. I did quick sniffs through everything because I just can't wait. And I love it all. Mm, not, not at all. No. Again, I'm honest. So, again, it was sent to me for free. Again, I'm honest. So, let's get some honest reviews out here in the world. And let's smell some wax. I think we're actually going to start big and work my way down this time because why not? So I have six, eight souffles. Now, typically from, I've never melted from the Melted Moose, so these opinions are all based on other wax. I can typically get about eight melts per souffle because souffles are, and her wax is very soft, and look at the Neapolitan layers on this. So yes, so her wax is very soft from the reviews I've watched and etc. And speaking of reviews, Charity Rose, I watched your Melted Moose review while I knew this was on its way to me, which just makes it even more happy. So anyway, so this first one is Carnival Confection and it's funnel cake, cotton candy, and fried ice cream. And now that I see that it's layered, I almost wonder, because this smells just like cotton candy, but now I'm wondering if I pop it out, if funnel cake, fried ice cream, cotton candy. It's super sweet confectionate. I have to put this back in because it's literally melting in my fingers. It's so soft, which means it holds a lot of oil. 
It definitely is like that sweet candy floss type of scent, like cotton candy. But you do get like a little bit of a creaminess from that ice cream. Now, I really can't judge what fried ice cream versus regular ice cream smells like. Because to me, it's just like a super, super creamy vanilla scent. But it's really yummy. Apple s'mores. Now, this one I think is super funny because Bath & Body Works has an apple s'mores soap out this year. Chef's kiss. It smells amazing. And the notes on this are the same notes that are in the soap. Macintosh apple, marshmallow fireside, and toasty grams. So there's no actual um, chocolate in the s'mores, which there's no chocolate there either. And are these layered too? These are really hard to get out of the tin because they're so soft. Mm. Yeah, these are layered too. Okay, well, I don't want to keep because then it reshapes because the wax is so soft. But anyway... It does not smell exactly like the soap. The soap has a really, really graham cracker base scent, where this is definitely more Macintosh forward, which I'm not complaining. I love Macintosh scents. And the Marshmallow Fireside just gives it that smoky, toasty, roasty scent. But I'm mainly getting Apple, which probably makes sense because it's on the top. Now, these were all poured August of 2021. Next, we have Pumpkin Paradise, which I think is interesting in its teal. It's pumpkin pecan waffles and vanilla bean Noel. I mean, how delicious does that sound? I mean, two, literally, vanilla bean Noel for Christmas, pumpkin pecan waffle for fall. And you get equal. You can smell vanilla bean Noel in the background. It's definitely over... I mean, pumpkin pecan waffles definitely has overpowered it, but... It smells really, really, really good. I love that pumpkin pecan waffles is just this sweet, ooey, gooey scent that every vendor makes and has totally different interpretations of what they can blend it with. The Great Pumpkin. Now, on quick sniffs, this might be my favorite. See if you can guess why. Pumpkin donuts, salted caramel, and Palo Santo. Pumpkin Caramel Palo Santo. Oh. Now, see, this is why I don't think they're layered. Like, they're layered in color, but I don't think they're layered in scent. Because I smell all of this together, unless this is a blended one. But Her Palo Santo is definitely more er perfumey Palo Santo than super earthy woody. Where, like, I like because it makes it different, you know, and that's why you order from the Melted Moose versus somebody else if you like her Palo Santo better than someone else, or you like them both equally like I do. And then the pumpkin donuts, it's that rich, yeasty, this smells like a cinnamony, sugary donut, but added nutmeg and those fall pumpkin pie spices to the mixture before you sprinkle the donut on, and then... I'm not getting a ton of salted caramel. You know how sometimes salted caramel is like boom pow in your face, that salted caramel? No, I, I don't get that. Falling for you. Cider Lane leaves and marshmallow fireside. One, it has Cider Lane, so it's obviously going to be amazing. And it is, it's that ooey gooey caramel Cider Lane that is my favorite. And it's cool when you mix Cider Lane. Okay. I think this is neat because Cider Lane, Leaves, and Marshmallow Fireside are all Bath & Body Works scents, and I have all three candles, so it's like, do I pop this in my warmers, and then do I burn all three candles at once and, like, have, like, the ultimate fall experience? You do. Oh my god. Like, it is so rich on Cider Lane, but the more you smell it, you pick up on leaves. That mulled apple cider with the creamy, gooey apple caramel. It's amazing how you can blend and mix scents together like that. I love. Then we have Southern S'mores. Strawberry jam, toasted marshmallow, and cornbread cakes. Now see, I don't really pick up on strawberry jam, which is like my favorite scent. I love that ooey gooey bakery strawberry. Toasted marshmallow and cornbread cakes. You can smell the cornbread. It's definitely more like that corn, like that thick bread, mostly dry all the time, cake. 
with toasted marshmallow. And I feel like you took a cornbread with butter and you put like the tiniest slice or like tiniest layer of strawberry jam on top. So it's not really like super overpowering. It's more blended, but I know with some cure time, you'll probably get that strawberry jam out more, especially when you melt it. I love strawberry jam. Now this one was super interesting because I've never seen anything like this. It's called Zero Shocks Given and it's cinnamon pumpkin souffle. That like threw me off reading it and sugar corn pudding. Mmm, 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 mmm. I love, like, sugar corn pudding is such a cool scent because it, to me, smells like you get those slice and bake sugar cookies and when you bake them in the oven, you pull them out and they're just a little brown on the outside because you can never cook them right. At least I can't. Or bake them, I should say. Bake them. It smells just like, like, it smells just like those sugary, sugary cookies, which is what sugar corn pudding smells like to me. And cinnamon pumpkin souffle. Yeah, sure. I mean, I can definitely pick up on like a super sweet cinnamon sugar. Maybe not as much pumpkin, but definitely cinnamon sugar. And then the last of the uh, souffles is, oh my gourd. Oh my gourd. Oh my gourd. It's fall. Oh my gourd. Pumpkin crunch cake, funnel cake, and vanilla ice cream. I mean, can you say any more? Sweet, decadent pumpkin without being maple-y, pecan -y, gooey like pumpkin pecan waffles. It's definitely more pumpkin cake. Okay. You close your eyes and you go to a festival and you see... I'm closing my eyes with you. We're going on this journey together. You close your eyes. You see the pumpkin cake, like the coffee cakes, the ones with all the cream cheese in the middle, and then they put the pumpkin pie spice on top, but not overpowering because nobody likes overpowering pumpkin. You go by the stand, you grab a piece, it's super warm, you take a bite, and when it melts in your mouth, you're just like, oh my gourd, it's fall. You're back. Welcome. Did you enjoy that journey? <laughs> That's what this smells like. So good. Like a creamy pumpkin coffee cake. I mean, perfection. And I actually go to that festival that I eat that pumpkin cake every year in two weeks. So, who says I'm not going to pop this in the warmers that day? I probably will. So, now we're in a plethora of scent shots. I told you guys, it's going to be a good haul. And there are definitely... Some scents I'm not a fan of in these scent shots. Again, honesty is the best policy. I'm spinning my basket around and just going for it. Cider donuts. Cider donuts is cinnamon sugar donuts and apple cider. Simple. Okay. It's not spicy. It's cinnamon sugar donut. Emphasis on the sugar. Apple cider, emphasis on the apple. So it's like a much sh more sugary apple than I was expecting, which I like. Yeah, it's definitely like a sugary apple. And donuts, I, I don't think I really get donut. I get more like a sugary apple. So if you're not into that yeasty, if you're not into that um, and yeasty, you're not into super um, spicy, I think that's one for you. Caramel apple zucchini bread. Sign me up. I love zucchini bread. Okay. This is, and what I think is always so interesting is when a vendor can take a note like zucchini bread and make it not be the first scent you smell. Caramel apple is the first thing you smell. Zucchini bread is there. Don't get me wrong. Zucchini bread is there, but the caramel apple is like a rich caramel without being cider lane caramel. And the zucchini bread is definitely, mm, it's definitely in there. It's just way in the background. And I like her zucchini bread. It's not super spicy. Fall festival. Apple, cinnamon, clove, orange peel, and vanilla. Not really a scent I would go for. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely different for a fall scent. It's not what I was expecting 
because orange peel, vanilla, more aims towards like, I guess orange peels can be fall because of like spiced oranges. I don't pick up on clove. I really just pick up on that orange peel and vanilla and a little bit of apple. Yeah, I don't, I don't pick up much spice. I almost wonder if she is very light handed on the spice when she pours these because she knows people don't like spice. This one's called Morning Pumpkin. And this is zucchini bread, pumpkin pecan waffles, and hazelnut coffee. I mean, you literally have your zucchini bread sitting out from the night before, ready to be sliced. Your pumpkin pecan waffles fresh off of the griddle. And your hazelnut coffee. Whoop. Well, okay. So remember what I said about notes coming front? Hazelnut coffee is first and foremost in this blend. I love that it's purple. Purple's a good color. Um, hmm. That's really just what I'm picking up on. I don't pick up on... Hmm. I do not pick up really on pumpkin pecan waffles. <sighs> Maybe a little zucchini bread. But mainly that hazelnut coffee. It's like a really strong coffee. And I love coffee. <laughs> this actually might be my favorite besides that Palo Santo one. And it's odd because... Totally not my, my vibe. Dreaming of a football season. Does it look like I watch football? No. I mean, home run. I know it's a touchdown. I need to calm down. Zucchini bread. Earth, earthen oak. Maybe it's earthy. Earthen oak and a hint of apple cider. So I was expecting this to be like a leathery scent. Oh, it's good. Zucchini bread and oak. Two scents I never thought would ever you blend together, but it's really nice. And then a hint of apple cider. It even says a hint. So just a little bit. It's definitely a little bit. It's definitely right there again in the background. Zucchini bread is in the forefront, but that mix of that with earth and oak. I really like the oak. I think that adds a really cool earthy element to it. Maple rolls. Honey butter rolls and glazed maple. So I immediately hear honey butter rolls and think of Texas Roadhouse. I don't care for this. It's it's it smells a little plasticky. I don't know if that's maybe the glazed maple, but it kind of like I can see how it can smell like maple, but to me it smells a little plasticky. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I I'm not a fan. Smoked blackberry, another interesting scent, which actually, I could call this hair smoked blackberry. What color is your hair? Smoked blackberry. Good. I need some sleep. <laughs> Fresh blackberry, sage, bonfire bliss, and palo santo. Now, I'm going by, like, what I think it smells like. And it smells like a blackberry sage. Like, almost like you walked into a like a hippie shop and they offered incenses and you picked up the blackberry one it's kind of what it sounds like and i don't really pick up on palo santo really at all yeah i, I mainly pick up like bla the blackberry and sage mainly is what i get like a, a very smoky blackberry smoked blackberry <laughs> like it like almost like if it was a blackberry incense Pistachio pudding cake and what the carb? I assume what the carb is like her version of like a super like keto scent or like, you know. And pistachio pudding cake, whatever you put with it, you always get that note. So I really don't know what her what the carb smells like. Because to me, this just smells like a really decadent bakery pistachio pudding scent. And you know what pistachio smells like. It can either come across super cherry or authentic pistachio. This smells like authentic pistachio, which I love. Cranberry Woods, another cult classic favorite scent from Bath and Body Works. And this hits it right out of the park. Mm, maybe a little bit more tart, actually, now that I smell it more. Maybe a little bit more tart. But it's really, really good. I really like it. Like a tartar Cranberry Woods. That's delish. 
banana nut bread. Banana is one of my favorite notes in wax. I'm actually melting a banana scent now. Yes, I know. I will make a melting video. I promise. I, I promise. Maybe I did start from September 1st. We'll see. Like, I always say this every single time. It smells like authentic banana nut bread. Banana nut bread scents always smell like true authentic banana nut bread to me. I really haven't smelled a scent from a vendor that doesn't smell authentic. This one is caramel apple fried ice cream. What the carb? Again with that fried ice cream note. Now it makes me curious. I want to order her fried ice cream scent on its own because I've only had it mixed with things. Okay. So it's interesting. The fried ice cream definitely tones down the caramel apple. It, I mean, I could see how caramel apple could be really strong in this. But I almost feel like the vanilla ice cream just makes it a really toned down, like, background-y caramel scent. And again, I'm not sure what her what the carb smells like to know, like, what, it, what to detect in the wax. We're going to skip right over this one. Cinnamon broom. I, I can't do it. I cannot do that cinnamon broom scent at all. It is like... Knock your socks off. Smoked vanilla. Sometimes you just gotta get back to basics and smell vanilla. And smoked vanilla, it's really, it's really pretty. This smells like a really nice perfume. Like if you bought a perfume called like, you know, Vanilla Midnight or something like that. Like a very nighttime vanilla scent. I actually might mix this with cinnamon broom to tone down that cinnamon. There's a thought. I think I'll probably melt cinnamon broom on like a day that I go to a festival because I go to a lot of fall festivals like a craft fair and um, so it puts me in that mood because I would never be in that mood to smell crazy cinnamon any other time. <sighs> Kettle corn. On quick sniffs, it, it, this one actually makes me sick. Ugh, oh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, it's like, oh, I, I don't even know, it's like buttery, but like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I won't even be able to melt that one. <laughs> Amish f Harvest, dried fruits, pumpkin, cinnamon, and clove. Sorry if you love kettle corn and it's your favorite. It's not. This, okay, this could be called Amish Harvest. This should just be called Fall on a Scent Shot. I mean, it literally smells like, like fall. Apple, cinnamon, clove, pumpkin. Like quintessential fall. Like 25, 25, 25, 25. It's really good. And it's a, I mean, it's fall. I mean, that's the color of fall. Five more, you guys. Oh, my lanta. Pumpkin. Pumpkin and coconut cupcakes and toasted marshmallow. It's light, it's coconutty, but it's not, it's more like toasty, flaky coconut than like body care or summery coconut. So like a pumpkin cupcake with, um, a pumpkin cupcake with like, um, shredded coconut on top that's been super toasted. And then toasted marshmallow is just making it a little bit more creamy. I love the way that this is all different colors. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's like smoky black. And this is Campfire Nights. Charred wood and leaves with toasted marshmallows. And this generally smells like toasted, I mean, like charred leaves. Like, or charred wood. Like, you can smell, it's like burnt wood. Like burnt wood with toasted marshmallow. I don't think leaves is the leaves type since it's like charred wooden leaves. It's kind of giving you like that outdoorsy fall scent. Wow. And I think this is going to look really pretty in the warmer. This is like a really cold fall night. You're in a blanket watching a really good show on TV. I, I can't wait for that one. Autumn flannel. Slightly sweet and spicy with undertones of smoke and woods. 
I assume this is like a dupe for Bath of Body Works. Do I dare say it kind of smells like hickory chips? Like, like beef jerky? Yeah, I, I, I don't really smell much. I, it's kind of funny. I kind of smell like wax. And then I smell like beef jerky. Interesting. The nose smells what it smells, right? It's fall, y'all. Every time I see this, I think of that TikTok. Have you guys seen it? It's like the guy. He's bigger. He has a beard. And he says, welcome to my basic white sister's home. And he like is like, like this. Got pies before guys. Fall. Happy fall. And he like reads them in this really crazy southern accent. He did one called, it's fall, y'all. And it just... It just brings me back. Autumn flannel, leaves, and toasted marshmallow. Please don't be like that, beef jerky. It's not. Um, it's definitely leaves type. And toasted marshmallow. I'm having a really hard time detecting what this autumn flannel is in this, though. I'm, like, rubbing the wax to see if it... Yeah, no. I mean, I just smell, like... Yeah, I just smell like leaves, like like the leaves type, but a more creamy version. And last but not least, Big Top Funnel Cake, which totally is like the only one that's not super fall here. Sweet strawberry, vanilla custard, and fried funnel cake. Delish. This smells just like from L3 um, Ant's Jam Fill Jelly Rolls, which is like my favorite scent. Yep, I mean, it smells just like it. Like, super sweet strawberry. Strawberry cake. And it's the strawberry, like, strawberry jam that I really love. Oh, is this yummy. Oh, is this yummy. Yeah, I like it. Yum. That'll always get melted, because I, I melt strawberry year-round. All right. Ha! That was a long video. Shantae is literally eyeing me up right behind me. She's like, Dad, come to bed. Let's play. I'm tired, baby. Anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll leave the link to join the Melting Moose's Facebook group down below. I will say it did take her like four days to add me to the group. I'm not sure if that was just like a bad period for her. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Um, so just have patience if you requested to join and didn't get approved right away. So I'm not sure if it's super active. It's still a pretty small group. She's still a pretty new vendor. But anyway, let me know if you tried Melting Moose down below. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not. Hit that little little notification bell so you're uploaded. You're that you are notified every time I upload in YouTube. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.